Hey guys, so let me show you what reel I use to catch these crafts from the jetty. Um, this is a Penn Battle 2 size 8000. Um, this is a monster of a reel, okay? It has a lot of cranking power. Um, it's very, very heavy. And uh, it's got some, just some serious muscle to it, okay? It's got a very big uh, bale wire right there. Um, it's very smooth, very durable. Um, when you're catching these crabs and tossing these crab hogs, make sure that drag is tightened down all the way because you, do, you don't want the drag to come loose, okay? So, Pen Battle 2, um, size 8000. For my second rod, um, I have it paired with a, uh, this is a Daiwa BG, size 5000. Um, very awesome reel. Um, some, it has some very large uh, gear, very large teeth, and um, very powerful handle. Um, very strong, very durable, just like the pen. And uh, I, I use these big reel because, you know, it's, it's very durable and it's going to help you crank in that, um, that crab hog. The crab hog isn't heavy, but it's just that it's the drag against the water that kind of makes it heavy. So you want a reel that can handle that. Um, the, the Daiwa BG here is definitely no slouch. Um, again, very awesome drag. When you're um, tossing these crab hog, make sure you tighten that drag all the way down. Tighten it down, okay? Um, uh, awesome spool, large spool. I'm using 80 pound braid on this, okay? And there is the rod that I paired up with a Daiwa BG. Okay, this is a Penn Mariner 2, six foot. Um, very stiff rod. It, it, it's gonna help you cast these um, crab hog pretty far into the water. It's not a very long rod, and um, but you know that's all I need because uh, it's it, it's efficient. You know the shorter rod is gonna be a little bit easier to handle, um, especially for, especially for new people. So this is pretty nice. There is a serial number on there if you want to get one, and I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so let's set up the crab hawk and tie the line onto the uh, swivel. Now, the best uh, knot that I use for tying the knot is on um, the uni knot. It's very strong. Okay, so let's open up the crab hawk and put on the bait. The best bait I found is chicken drumsticks. They work really well. Just put it on the center column and snap back the plastic cap. Here I'm using two drumsticks because I want the scent to just carry far. All right, guys, there it is. There's the crab hawk. We are ready. Let's go toss it out there into the ocean. The best time to catch these crabs from the jetty I found is from about late August until yeah. about December. When you guys are tossing out these crab hawk, just toss out as far as you can. You can also get closer to the water, but just be careful because those rocks are very slippery. Sometimes the swell also come in and uh, it could sweep you off the rock, so be really careful with that. All right, see that puppy. So basically, your drumstick is going to slide right on this um, pole here. And in theory, that's going to hold it together. Yeah. There you go. And then you simply bring this over. Flip it like that. Dude, that's how you do it. Wait, and are you waiting, like putting a weight on the bottom and all? I do because I'm afraid it might drift. But what you can also do is get some zip ties and tie another drumstick on this bar. So I have two drumsticks on there. It's it's up to you. It's just a, give it extra weight just to make sure it doesn't like drift too much.
Come on, buddy. Oh, no. There are crabs. They're getting banged around in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a bad pull for the first one. What do you think, guys? A little tiny? One red. One little red. Three dungies. Dungies are going back. Hold on, you little devils. Whoops, sorry. Hey, there we go. One red that has one claw. Okay, come on, buddy. Let go. Holy moly, man, they tore up my bait. Come on. You can let go. There we go. Now these guys, you can keep up to 24 and there are no size limit or uh, male or female, it don't matter. So that's one and um, 23 more to go for these guys. All right, there we go guys, another red. Big old claw. Also known as the angry crab. Cool. It's very, uh, very purple in color. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Hole number two. Oh, my poor crab hawk. No. Well, you win some, you lose some. In my case, you win some, you lose all. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Yeah, looks like, oh no, is that a keeper? No, that's a female. It's like one small red. Small red, too small to keep. And a female. Female Dungy, can't keep her. And this guy we can keep. Right there. Watch out, my splash. It's all good. size of that red jeez <laughs> two more good sized reds right there it's pretty awesome keep filling the bucket I boil them Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Take a... 
video of me casting. Of course. Battery's low. One red got off. All right, another one of those guys. Big old claw. Right there, another red. Man, that was only down for like three minutes. Got a red. I meant to pick it up and reset it, but no matter. He's a keeper. Keeper red. Right there. How you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, more reds. Two reds. Getting reds left and right. <laughs> That's cool. There it is. That's gonna be my last pull right there, guys. Not a bad haul at all. Uh, this one is a little small. We're gonna let him go. Too small to keep. All right, that should be good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. Let me show you what we have. Well, what I have. Mostly, they're all reds. I didn't keep. I didn't catch any uh, keeper dungeness. You know, the reds are about in this range. Not very big, but it's still. They're still pretty good size to eat. Here's the biggest red right here. That's a good size red. She got those claws, all that meat is in that claw. So just using these crab hawk on a jetty. It's a little sketchy, a little dangerous. If you come out here, just be careful with your footing. The rocks are really slippery. All right, let me show you a couple more. There we go. Now, this one's a female, that one's a male. For the Dungeness, I'm sorry, for the red crab, you can keep either male or female, it doesn't matter. And you can keep up to 24 of these guys. Also, uh, there's, there's no size limit, okay? All right, hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have fun fishing, tight lines.